Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and today is quite an exciting day for the Unturned community as a whole because we have gotten quite possibly, or just actually the most informative update regarding the development of the upcoming Russia map that we have ever gotten before, and it's in the form of a YouTube video filled with endless information. Yes, a teaser video of the upcoming Russia map. I just have to do a breakdown of the trailer frame by frame it may be 30 seconds long but it is jam-packed with information but before I actually do that breakdown if you guys haven't seen the trailer please do so you can watch it by clicking this or the card in the top right or clicking the link in the description down below it's only 30 seconds long so it'll give you something to refer off of when watching this video I'll let you do that first give it a little time you can pause the video don't worry and all right good to go so to start, I think it's pretty known that this Russia map is coming this Friday. I mean, we have uh, an achievement that was recently added that's unlocked for starting the Russia map up. It's called uh, Welcome to Russia, simple enough. This teaser video was posted on a Tuesday. In Friday's release, this upcoming Friday lines up with Nelson's estimate of the map being a few weeks out a few weeks ago. And not to mention that this teaser video is showing a map that looks awfully finished to me. So that's pretty hype, but with that out of the way, let's start talking about each of the scenes actually shown in this teaser video. The video starts with text saying 3.16.0.0 and swoops in to reveal a cool view of a lighthouse to the right seemingly placed there to kind of warn incoming ships of those rocks protruding out of the water and uh, a winding road following the hillside to the left. Now there isn't much to note here aside from the unique trees and the grass color and then there's that autumn biome that's kind of creeping in from the left but we really get to see a lot of Russia's focus on verticality here. There's a lot of hills and almost every single one of them have these awesome boulders scattered around the side and they, they just look awesome and we'll, we'll see more of this in a bit. In the next scene we travel deeper into the new autumn biome and we get to check out the new grass and trees color that despite being a color that occurs when plants are dying is actually quite Quite beautiful. Uh, we get to see more of these huge boulders that make the barren fields and hills less barren. And uh, I love these boulders, by the way. They're seemingly everywhere and they look great. And they'll also provide good cover for you in case you're ever ambushed in the forest. And now, as the shot pans to the left a little bit more, we get to see a bit of what appears to be a watchtower. Now, this is likely the watchtower shown here in Nelson's teaser image of the 3.15.11.0 update notes. Also, it's impossible not to think of Firewatch when looking at this. I mean, come on. I hope there's some sort of like Easter egg reference up at the top of that watchtower. I really hope so. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, the next shot is our first full look at a new building. This is the train station or repair shop or storage. I, I don't know. Uh, all I know is that, you know, train comes in, goes on the turntable, the turntable spins, then the train drives into the garage, turntable spins back to be in line with the main track. It's pretty cool. This building appears to be primarily in the autumn biome, but it's also become apparent that there's like no definitive line between biomes in the this map. Judging by how you can see splotches of the olive grass in the background, and you will see a lot more of this in the future. Uh, smaller things, there's a ladder to get out in case you get stuck down there in the turntable, and there's also some sort of town in the background to the left, though I can't really make out what it is though, it just appears to be some generic town. We're seeing a lot of unique locations in the Russia map. I like it a lot. Here we're taking a look at what initially appears to be a relatively small open pit mine, uh, similar to the quarry from the Canada map in the early 3.0 days, but with the train tracks winding down to the bottom of the mine and cool mine carts scattered around the tracks, I, I, now I say what initially appears to be because, I mean, look a little closer. This mine is huge. Now remember those boulders from before that were lining the hilltops? Those boulders are lining the spiral tracks leading down to this mine and remember the giant saw blade by the UFO crash in the Washington map, that huge thing? Well, look at how, how big these things are compared to the mine. Now, the big kicker is this little mineable rock here. I mean, look at how small it is. And uh, keeping all these things in mind, I think for reference, a character is about this big relative to this whole mine. So I think we can establish that this is a pretty big location. Uh, but all of this aside, I think these buildings from the teaser image is actually this building to the right. It appears to be some sort of train station thing or a factory or something, I don't know. Uh, but lastly, as the camera pans in, 
I'm trying to figure out what this green thing is. It's probably nothing. It might be a hatchback and the tan thing is Nelson controlling the camera, but I'm not sure. It's just some weird thing that's in the, in the mining quarry there. Holy crap. All right, now this shot is a busy one. Uh, where to begin? Well, to start, we can see this half autumn biome, half olive grass stuff thing happening again. I really like the look of that, by the way, all underneath this huge city. Uh, but regards to the city, Moscow, Russia, perhaps, I mean, we have the St. Basil's Cathedral to the right, Triumphal Arch of Moscow to the left, it just has to be Moscow. There also might be more landmarks to the left, not entirely sure, we don't get to see very much of this city, or maybe it is a whole thing. Uh, but in regards to some new buildings that I can see, there is a unique gas station up at the top by the fire station. Uh, there are lots of new homes, there's one to the left here, uh, then there's this one at the bottom. Then this one to the right, and so this one, there's going to be a lot of variety in the types of homes now, so that's going to be pretty cool. Keep in mind, all this is in addition to all the homes we already have. Uh, there's also a new church up at the top, and a neat little Russian flag by the police station. Uh, some of these larger apartment skyscraper things also appear to be unique, like this one, uh, but we don't actually get to see much of it because it's like a top-down view, so I, I don't, I'm not really going to bother. Aside from that apartment building, though, we can see some military tents behind that apartment building, similar to the center of Seattle, so that's going to be a hot spot, going to be pretty cool, and it's also worth noting that I think that triumphal arch there is going to be a really good sniping spot. It appears to be the tallest point in the city, uh, so it's going to be similar to like the uh, crane in Seattle and stuff like that, so that'll be pretty cool. Now the next shot is pretty similar, this time we can see more of the unique apartment complexes, like this one to the right, and this one to the left, and this one, which is kind of sort of like a shorter and wider looking one, pretty cool. Um, there's also a new home in the corner here, and also what appears to be a larger grocery store here. I may be wrong, but it's the same color and has some sort of like roof extension on the top, so that's pretty interesting. Um, up at the top, there appears to be that gas station again, but it is also accompanied by a unique large size mechanic shop with three garage slots instead of two, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, there's also a military tent right smack dab in the center of this intersection, pretty interesting. And uh, a new building type here, but I cannot figure out what it says. I, I've tried looking super closely, I don't know what it is. You guys should comment down below your guys' thoughts on what that building is. Uh, there's also some sort of weird object here. It was also in the previous shot. Um, I want to say that it's an underground subway system, like an entrance to it, but it just doesn't look quite right. And we'll also see more of this underground subway system in the future but just like keep this in mind it has to be some sort of entrance underground i don't know but it's like it's just weird looking i don't know what what else it would be uh, so also let me know if you guys thoughts on that the next shot moves quickly uh, but moving frame by frame clearly shows that this is the new international airport very very cool there's also a lot of information here in just this tiny shot so listen closely so it starts in the baggage claim area with all the luggage there and seemingly nelson kind of staring at them intently or maybe Maybe that's a zombie. Uh, the camera moves up a floor where we briefly get to see the gate area with all the seating and stuff. Uh, possibly shops to the left, so it might also have kind of the same gear as the mall in Seattle. So it have little miscellaneous objects in those shops to the left. And then the camera moves on and out through the roof. And above the airport, we can see the runway, the uh, newly colored traffic control tower in the back that has the same color scheme as this international airport. Uh, there's two hangars here, and then there's two new vehicles in this screen right now. One is right here. It's an airport baggage car. They're designed to get baggage to and from the airplane, and as a vehicle in a zombie apocalypse is going to be straight up on us, will likely be quite terrible. Uh, the other vehicle in this shot is right here. <laughs> yes, yes, I know it's a little small, but it's pretty exciting. All right, so I think you can figure out what it is. It's a new airplane, one that will definitely have more seats uh, than the Sandpiper, as I've seen many of you guys request after the Sandpiper was added. Now, I'm sure you're already considering going in the comment section and typing like, hey, but boom, that could just be the object version of the plane, like the one in the hangar at the Belfast airport. But hey, to that, I show you this, where Nelson basically confirms 
that a plane like this is coming with more seats. So if there's gonna be any plane in this teaser video, it's got to be that one. We only get to see a little bit of it, but it definitely appears to be some larger sized airplane. It's gotta be that one. So feel free to get hyped, you guys. This is the new airplane. We'll see more of that when the map is actually released. Now the next shot is an extremely interesting one. It's a sweeping shot through what appears to be a tank factory. This is weird. So here we can see the new olive colored military tank with cool little robotic arms that are constructing the thing. Um, and then there's also a cool array of like conveyor belts that are running the tanks on through the factory. Uh, judging by the military knife there, I think we can assume that this is a military spawn location. So might be able to find some military guns here. And it will also probably be a place where tanks spawn. I think, I think that's a safe assumption here. Uh, outside the door to the right, we can see more tank bodies and that's about I originally thought those are tanks, but you can see they don't have the little rotating barrels on the top, so they just appear to be the bodies of tanks ready to go through the factory. Other than that, that's really about it. The next shot is a really cool one showing the new mansion. We've never had anything like this before. I mean, we've had the like the double-decker white houses and the two-story brown houses and stuff like that, but this is like a legit mansion. Check this thing out. This is likely the home of the uh, Mafia mob boss. You know, we have the Mafia clothes now. Uh, this place has three floors the top one seemingly abandoned then there's a deck on the middle floor and we can't really see any of the stuff on the bottom floor um, but as it pans out some more we get to see the helipad to the left a little gazebo thing in the back there I, I don't know what you call those things but kind of like an outdoor seating area uh, there's a lot of fancy lights lining this whole thing there's a fountain out front and some statues it's really cool also something that I noticed and I may be wrong but this building seemingly has the same colors as the tank factory from before. I mean, swapping between these two, I mean, I don't know, Tank Factory honestly looks like it's taking place inside this mansion, so I don't know, maybe that's how this guy was able to afford his mansion, I have no clue, uh, but that is something to consider, it may just be a coincidence that the buildings have the same colors, uh, but the next shot is of one object, and that is some cool train cannon looking object, it's really cool looking actually, and appears to be in some sort of long underground tunnel, um, I googled train cannon, and as it turns out, a lot of of these were used in World War II. I've never heard of this, but that is actually really cool. I mean, check out these like giant artillery cannons on these train cars. It's fascinating. But anyway, this is kind of similar. A little battle train here. Pretty cool. That's really all this shot shows. Uh, the next shot is of our first military base in this map, or at least our first uh, view of an entire full military base. Um, some new things to point out on this shot are the double tall walls lining the base. They're like two Hescos tall. There's also a new radio tower right there at the bottom. Um, and then there's what I originally thought were some large barracks, but it also might be worth considering it might be a garage for tanks and Humvees and stuff like that, so it could be either or. And then also there's the fact that this military base is just huge. I mean, look at this. It's like the first military airport too among the current vanilla maps, if I recall correctly. I might be wrong, but I, I think this is actually the first military airport, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's also a giant hill to the right here and also behind the uh, military base here, so keep an eye out for snipers when you're visiting this military base. The next shot is an interesting one with the player navigating through an underground tunnel with a tactical light attachment. Um, I was originally going to pass straight through the slip without pointing anything out, but I noticed that these aren't regular train cars. It's a derailed subway train. I mean, look at it. There's yellow hand pulls inside. So this does lead me to believe that those strange objects before uh, from those city panning shots were actually underground subway entrances even more now. So something to consider. This is definitely a subway train. There has to be an entrance entrance to this subway system somewhere, and I think it being in the city is pretty reasonable. Now here we're getting to some insane stuff. This next shot is of a military convoy. This is really cool. Uh, we have the new Russian tank that's leading the pack here, uh, and then a new small Russian military vehicle following closely behind. We'll see a little bit more of that. Uh, hovering above all this is a brand new helicopter. Very cool looking. Uh, it has a cover over the rear rotors, as you can see, and hopefully this will be able to hold more than four people. Uh, as the camera pans around to the left side, there's a tire attack to the left side of the trailing Russian vehicle, leading me to believe that this is a vehicle that was shown in the background of Nelson's tweet way back on May 26th. 
This has to be based off one of the GIZ lines of military cars or GAZ, I don't know what you call them. Uh, but there's, they're basically like the Russian equivalent of a Willys Jeep back in World War II. Uh, so that, that's got to be what that military car is. Uh, other than that, that's really all this shot shows. They're all leading over to a bridge in the distance. That's pretty cool as well, but that's that shot. Uh, the next shot is of a police chase being led through a blend of autumn biome and olive grass and uh, leading over some train tracks. Uh, a police car also goes straight into the guardrail. That's pretty funny, but uh, the police cars are chasing what I initially thought was a red sedan, but you have to look closer here. The B pillar of the car is further back than normal. I mean, look at that. And there's also a unique bumper or a rear diffuser thing on the back of the car. It has to be something new. I have absolutely no idea what it is. It could be a new sports car looking thing, but all I know is it has to be new. Uh, the next shot is also of the same thing, but it's a wider shot of the chase and taking place in a full autumn biome this time. The car is also further away here. I was really hoping to see more of that car. All I know is that it's new. It's, it has to be new. I don't know what it is, uh, but we'll have to see that when the map is released. The next shot is of a cool firefight taking place in the International Airport during a storm between some policemen and some guy. Uh, the police have night raiders and that's about it, uh, but it's the first camera view from a normal playing perspective rather than like a sweeping shot from above, so that's pretty cool. Uh, in the next shot, the player approaches the new giant submarine crash. Now this one is a little different than the petty little yellow submarine at the bottom of the Puget Sound. This one is a military stealth submarine with a giant hole in the side. Look at how thick the sidewalls are too. Now as the player gets closer, we realize that the hole actually leads into a kitchen and there are doors leading into more rooms on the left and right. So I think we can expect to find some cool loot in here. I mean, be honest. I'm assuming that since the yellow submarine spawns ranger gear, uh, this is likely an American or Canadian submarine that will spawn military loot. So very, very cool there. Now the next shot reveals some more cool stuff, and aside from the whole three mafia dudes brutally murdering a surrender guy on the side of the road at night, check out the cars they are driving. That is awesome. They're like some totally awesome mob boss 1940s Rolls Royce style cars. It's so cool. I think we can expect to find these cars at the mansion we saw earlier. It just fits perfectly. Really, really cool looking cars. Now this shot is a little tricky, so I brightened it up so it's easier to see, though it's kind of ugly, but just bear with me, okay? Now you'll notice that all the trees are dead. Look at these. We haven't seen a biome like this before, so that's pretty cool. This leads me to believe that this is what a dead zone looks like. You know the dead zones, the area with the green glowy zombies and you have to wear a gas mask to not die? Anyway, uh, the helicopter silhouette right here that this camera is actually focusing on is most definitely not the helicopter for the military convoy shot from earlier. I mean, just look at it. This is so an AH-1 Cobra. I mean, come on, look at it. It's so much bigger than the helicopter we saw earlier and the nose leads right up to the main rotor to accommodate the vertical seating positions or whatever from the pilot and the co-pilot or whatever. Uh, I think we're looking at Unturn's first armed helicopter right here. This is really cool. I mean, I don't know what else it would be because it's definitely not the helicopter from before. It's got to be an AH-1 Cobra. Pretty cool. Comment your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, some more nighttime shots follow up to that one. This time it is a player shooting a Hell's Fury out the side of a hummingbird into a giant oil derrick. I mean, this is just insane. Look at this. Uh, now, also, look at the size of this oil derrick. This thing is huge. We, we got to see this, these giant cities and this giant quarry, and now we're taking a look at a giant oil derrick out in the ocean. This is awesome. going to be an awesome place to visit as well. Um, I was also going to mention how cool it would be to build a base here, but you'll notice that the zombies are exploding in a green goo, so this is definitely a dead zone. So expect good loot to spawn here. You're not going to be able to visit this place often. I think it's understandable that they have to get a helicopter in Hell's Fury to visit this place. It's a dead zone. They have to get it from a distance and then move in quickly without dying. Also, as a side note, they crashed the helicopter at the end, so their efforts were fruitless. Now, the next shot we see is the final shot of the teaser trailer, one of a player sniping with an echo from what appears to be the top of that Firewatch themed tower that we got to see a snippet of in the beginning of the trailer, so ending on what it started with, pretty cool. Uh, we don't actually get to see much of the clip since it gets covered in text, but he appears to snipe at some approaching bandits from the tower. 
Pretty cool. Uh, the text reads off, unturned free to play, welcome to Russia, confirming the map's obvious setting and zooming out similar to Unturned 2.0's trailer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that That's it. That's it. That's the trailer. 30 seconds. Man, it took, I told you, there's a lot of information here. I don't even know where to begin on all of this. There's just so much awesomeness in 30 seconds. I can't believe it. You guys need to comment your thoughts below on anything. If I missed anything or anything you feel may be different, than what I interpreted. This is all open to discussion and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. As a side note, I've just now noticed that Nelson put in the description that this is coming out, hopefully, assuming all things go smoothly, on the 19th. That is in three days. That is this upcoming Friday. So if there is any time in the world to be hyped for the upcoming Russia map, it is right now. That is all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that traverse because you're my big goal is out. <laughs>